Hey guys, today I'm going to tell you and show you how you can remove Google Map listing or at least come as close as possible to remove it. This video will be longer than my usual 2-3 to three minutes, but this was truly long and painful experience with Google customer support and I need to tell you about it. What I'm going to tell you will make it less stressful for you. I will show you my Google listing little later, but let us say this is my Google Map listing and I want to remove it. Business is closed, there is no more website, but Google Map info is still here. I especially wanted to remove my phone number from Google Maps. So I did what any normal person would do. I went to Google My Business. I will put a link below. That is the place to manage these things. I logged into my account and under Business tab, I selected my business, clicked Action and chose Permanently Closed. I thought that was it. But few days later I noticed my listing is still on Google Maps with all the info, only there is permanently closed label on it. So again I went to Google My Business and at the same action drop down menu I chose Remove Business. I felt fairly good about myself as I thought that is it, Google will remove it now from Google Maps. A week later nothing changed, the listing was still there with all the info and that permanently closed label. Again I went to Google My Business to see what's going on, but I couldn't log in, I had no more Google My Business account with that email address. After counting down I logged into Google My Business with another email address and another business. There I found the Google Customer Service online form and I wrote them to remove my listing from Google Maps or at least to remove my phone number if nothing else. And now the struggle with Google Customer Service started. The day after I got an email from Mega asking for my name. He said he is from Google My Business Support Team. I told him my name again. Notice here how I know Mega is a he, not a she. Two days later Mega wrote and told me he will run this concern with specialists. That same day I was walking on the street and my phone rang. I looked at my phone and said Google calling. I answered. It was Mega on the other side, wanted to check that I am who I say I am and more importantly is this really phone number associated with my Google Map listing. After 1 minute and 35 second phone call, he was satisfied that I am who I say I am and that this is my phone number. Great. The next day email from Mega came. He wrote that after performing multiple checks, which are internal and he is unable to disclose the details. He couldn't confirm my affiliation with the contact number. He also wrote there is no further steps or actions we can do for this issue. What the? We talked yesterday over the phone, on the same phone number in question. I wrote back, gave him several other ways to contact me, gave him proof that I own the domain name associated with that Google My Business listing, everything I could. Mega wrote back and his fourth email to me was the same as the third one. I wrote back again, but the turn came in Mega's fifth email to me. In this fifth email to me he wrote that he does believe me, but he is unable to do anything because my listing is not violating any guidelines. Hallelujah! He finally believes me, but he is just too incompetent to do anything about it. I wrote back to him and begged him to transfer my request to someone else who can help me. Nothing. His sixth email to me was copy paste from the fifth email. Then I had a stroke of genius. My Google Map listing is still online, but it is now unclaimed. Could I claim it and just edit out all the personal info from it? I wrote Mega and asked him could I do it. In his sixth email to me he wrote, it's my call, I could. So I did. And to my surprise I got access to that listing again. Now under listing details I deleted name, phone number, web address, all the info that is no longer relevant. I saved the changes and it is online to this date with nothing there, only the reviews are left. At the end, the point of this video is that you cannot remove your listing from Google Maps, but you can remove your information with the listing standing there like a ghost. So don't do as I did, first edit out all the sensitive information, then you can close your listing or delete it. Either way, it will be online forever, when Google grabs something it doesn't let go. 
If you got this far with this video, I know my painful experience with Google support team should help you. Like the video, spread the word of my struggle, maybe even subscribe to my small channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye.